I remember Platinum Weird. I think it used to play in the house when I was growing up. I found a vintage t-shirt that said Platinum Weird on it. Have you heard of Platinum Weird? What's Platinum Weird? They had a name, they had songs, they had a vision. And in their own young minds, it was only a matter of time before the world heard them and flipped. I can tell the gray and the blue. Give me a chance and I'll show you. Well, the first time I met Aaron, I thought immediately she's got to be with someone. And I hate him, whoever he is. She's got such a rocker voice, like it's cool. It's like old school, like like Pat Benatar kind of rock. I love it. She didn't come across as a sort of regular kind of rock chick. I mean, I think she'd, she'd spent some time in an ashram in Kabul or something like that. With the record in the can, the band geared themselves up for imminent acclaim by playing on the BBC's seminal rock show, The Old Grey Whistle Test. It was to be their last performance. With artwork being finalized, release dates and promotional tour schedules penciled in, Erin disappeared again. Where'd she go? Well, I don't know. That's the problem, you see. She ran off with my boyfriend. Women. Well, I think what happened here is a shit got bigger than the cat. And when the shit gets bigger than the cat, you get rid of the cat. The eponymous album, Platinum Weird, was never officially released. Dave disbanded the group, and they quickly disappeared from public consciousness. Perhaps she's one of those mysteries that's best left unsolved. <laughs>